Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and welcome to the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is the first video, and in this video, I'm going to be giving an overview of the tutorial. Now, before we jump into the nuts and bolts of the tutorial, I need to explain how this is going to work. I'm going to walk you through, step-by-step, -step, how I created my own website using Squarespace. If you open up your browser and go to humansofnelsonbc.ca, you'll see the site that I'm going to show you how to create. Now of course, your site is going to be different than my site, but the basic elements will be the same. Everything from setting up your Squarespace site, adding pages and content, and making changes to the design and layout of your site are all covered in this tutorial. If you follow from start to finish, you'll be able to have your own website up and running by the end of it. This includes setting up a blog as well as an e-commerce store to sell your own products. I don't go through every feature in Squarespace in this tutorial, because I didn't need every feature to build my website and you probably don't need them all in yours either. That's part of the value of a tutorial like this. I can show you the important things you need to focus on, making sure you don't waste time trying to figure out something that isn't going to help you actually get your site up and running. Now I'm going to take a minute to show you around my site that I created through the tutorial. It will help you understand why I make certain choices about layout and design. To give you some background, The Humans of Nelson is a photography art project I started a couple of years ago. It's a spin-off of the very popular Humans of New York. Basically, it's street photography with stories of the people featured in the photos. The bulk of my audience engagement is through my Facebook page, but I needed a website to give people more information about the project and to help sell my book. So the three goals of my website are to, number one, share my art in a pleasing way, Number two, encourage people to like the Facebook page so I have a way to stay in touch with my fans. And lastly, to sell the book. Now let me walk you around the site real quick. So one of the first things you'll notice about the website is it's very clean and simple. Um, I think it's, it's uh, got a lot of white space, it's got really good fonts, big fonts, it's inviting, it's pleasing to the eye, and I've kind of done that on purpose. I think a lot of websites are a little bit too harsh, uh, a little bit too busy, uh, and you can lose people right away. As a website owner, it's really easy to keep adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff to your website, um, but you always got to consider how your website looks and feels to visitors. So I've tried to make something nice and clean and simple. You will notice on the homepage um, and throughout the site that I promote my Facebook page quite a bit. And I've got a good reason for that is because I want visitors that might only be on my website for a few seconds or a couple of minutes to get onto the Facebook page, like the Facebook page so I can stay in contact with them. And that's really important to make sure that your, your fans stay fans over time by finding some way to stay in touch with them. The website is, is a, a little bit static that way where if somebody comes, uh, they might enjoy it for a minute, but then they're on to their next website and their next browsing activity. So the Facebook page is really important. As people scroll down, um, they start to see the actual art of the project, the portraits, and some of the stories from the portraits. So I hope people take time and read and, and look at them. But after a few photos, you know, if somebody's still on the site and they've read three photos, they're probably enjoying the project. So this is a good time for me to say, you know, hey, if you like the photos, you'll love the book. Um, with this nice banner here, and if, if you click that, you'll be headed over to the book sales page. I'll do that in a minute, but I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. So again, someone might say, oh, not, I'm not really interested in the book. I want to keep reading some of these uh, photos and some of these captions. And so they keep reading and enjoying the project. And I've actually got quite a few of them up here so somebody can really take their time and get into it. And these are all photographs taken in my little town in British Columbia. So somebody that's from Nelson is going to probably really enjoy this project. Somebody who doesn't live in my town probably won't, <laughs> but that's okay. But if they scroll all the way to the bottom, say they take, you know, 10 minutes to read all of these and get to the very bottom, again, I invite them to go grab the book or to learn more if they're not ready to go buy a book. Um, so let's go ahead and click the learn more. So the learn more is going to take me to or take the visitors to an about page. The about page is, is um, you know, just where somebody just wants to know a little bit more about the project, know a little bit more about me. I did add something kind of cool that uh, Squarespace has is this ability to add a donate button. So if somebody is like, man, these photos and these stories are great. I really, I don't really feel like buying the book, but I'd love to give you a 10 bucks because, uh, you know, I know you're a struggling artist. Um, they can go ahead and do that. And I've actually had people in the project um, donate money to me before or want to. And now I've got a way for them to actually do that, which is great. There's a picture of me full of snow. 
Um, and then I've got some stuff about, uh, some, and here's a video of me getting interviewed for a TV show, and then here's me in the paper. So it just gives uh, fans a little bit more in-depth background into the project. Um, another one, real quick, is a contact page. It's always good for people to be able to send you um, a message. Almost every website should have a, some way to contact people. Um, and this contact form is all built into Squarespace. It works really, really well. And then I'll head over to the book, which is a sales page. So this is an actual hardcover real book that, um, that I've self-published. And I'm selling through the website. And so, yeah, again, everything was built through Squarespace. They've got their own e-commerce system. Um, it's really easy to set up and, and uh, really slick, actually. I really enjoy it. And then I've got uh, just a couple of different uh, ways for people to get the book, either to order it online or to buy it locally at our local independent bookstore. Um, and that's essentially the site. Again, you know, on the footer here, I've got another link to the Facebook page to make it really clear that I want people to join into the Facebook community. Maybe I'll jump over to the um, the Facebook page and just kind of show you how active and important it is to my project. I've got over 7,000 fans in a town of just 10,000 people and I try to post a photo you know every day or so. Here's a photo that had 344 likes and some comments and so I get a lot of engagement in here. So if I want to promote a book or the book, then um, this is the place that I'm going to do it because all my fans kind of hang out on this Facebook page and they're waiting for me to, to post new stuff. Um, so that's essentially the website that I'm going to show you how to build. Again, you're going to build your own site, but a lot of the elements uh, that I show through my tutorial will help you build your site. You're just going to have to add your own stuff to it, but I know you can do it. Um, I'm looking forward to helping you out and let's get going.